In the ever-evolving landscape of artificial intelligence, a silent yet significant battle is underway, the race for AI semiconductor supremacy. In last few years, we have witnessed an explosive growth in artificial intelligence, which has been fueled by breakthroughs in machine learning algorithms and the proliferation of vast data sets. In particular, the advent of large language models, LLMs such as GPT-3, which powered ChatGPT. Behind the scenes of this AI revolution lies the indispensable role of NVIDIA GPUs, serving as the computational workhorses that drive the training and inference of these sophisticated models. While tech giants like Microsoft, Meta, Google, and Amazon Web Services compete for supremacy in AI services, a deeper strategic contest is unfolding. This contest extends beyond services. It encompasses the battle for AI semiconductor supremacy, a competition that holds far-reaching implications for the future of artificial intelligence. The past decade has seen these cloud providers explode, enterprises coming up with cloud-first strategies and having a mad rush to cloud. Cloud providers grew from millions to billions of dollars in revenue and a treasure trove of data. They're constantly battling to keep costs down, and a big chunk of that expense comes from the massive data centers powering their empires. Remember the days when CPUs were dominating the computing world? Intel inside stickers on every computer server? The hardware vendors like Hewlett Packard, Dell, and IBM were the kings. The cloud providers changed the game and started controlling customers. They didn't want dependency on CPU and hardware vendors. They didn't want to pay licensing fees to these brands. They wanted to be in position to negotiate on their terms with the hardware vendors. They started developing their own CPUs and hardware, like Amazon's Graviton, which boasts a whopping 40% better price-to-performance ratio. This is a big deal. It saved them money and gave them more control. And here's where things get interesting. With the rise of AI, cloud providers are setting their sights on building custom AI chips. They don't want NVIDIA to dominate this market. Google's Tensor Processing Units, TPUs, designed for AI tasks. In October 2022, AWS released the Trainium AI chip, designed for training LLMs with over 100 billion parameters and touts up to a 50% cost-to-train savings over comparable GPU-based instances. AWS has also released another chip called Inferentia, which is being designed for inference and scale-out deployment on a global basis. These moves poses a serious threat to NVIDIA, the current king of AI hardware. They've poured billions into developing powerful GPUs and the software ecosystem to run them. Their partners, the cloud giants, are becoming their biggest competitors. NVIDIA isn't going down without a fight. Instead of being swallowed by the cloud giants, they're creating their own cloud ecosystem, a network of smaller, unknown cloud providers like CoreWeave or Lambda Labs, all heavily armed with NVIDIA GPUs. NVIDIA is basically seeding this ecosystem to ensure their technology remains the go-to choice for AI tasks. NVIDIA has introduced its AI Enterprise Reference Architecture, a comprehensive blueprint designed to streamline the deployment of AI solutions across diverse industries. This architecture not only provides a framework for integrating NVIDIA GPUs and software solutions, but also serves as a pathway for small cloud providers to attain certification. NVIDIA isn't just giving these small cloud providers a leg up, they're also ensuring quality through certification. By getting certified with NVIDIA's AI Enterprise Reference Architecture, these companies demonstrate their commitment to offering a robust and optimized AI platform built on NVIDIA technology. This certification acts as a trust signal for potential customers looking to run their AI workloads on these new cloud platforms. This explains why it might be tough to find tons of NVIDIA GPUs available on every cloud platform. NVIDIA might be strategically limiting access to keep the cloud giants from getting too comfortable with their own chip development. The battle lines are drawn. NVIDIA, with its lead in AI hardware and software, versus the cloud providers with their vast resources and chip development ambitions. It's a fight for dominance in the AI era, and the stakes are high. While we don't have exact figures on how many GPUs NVIDIA sells to each cloud provider, estimates suggest NVIDIA holds a significant lead, but that lead could shrink as the cloud giants ramp up their own chip production. So who will win the AI wars? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, this battle will shape the future of artificial intelligence and how we interact with technology. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you found it informative. Want to learn more about AI? 
be sure to subscribe to our channel for more insightful content.